Hello, today we're unboxing the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Let's take a look at the box. The box says there's a smartphone stabilizer and DJI on this side, a stand depicted here. Going on to the back, we've got the Osmo Mobile 6 three axis stabilization, that's an important factor. It has quick launch, portable and foldable, active tracking so it can track somebody as they move, easy tutorials and a built-in extension rod. And then there's some additional information down here at the bottom. So let's open it. There's a tab right here. instructions here about getting the app setting up and operating so let's get the device out there's a pouch a cable and nothing else Osmo pouch Recommended video editing app. What looks like a, a user manual. A quick start guide, which is something we'll be using. Put that here. And safety guidelines. Put that there. Take this clamp out. It's tearing apart. And here's the DJI. And some pads that need to be attached. So put the box aside. And the first thing we need to do is charge this. And this goes into a charging port in HDMI, and we'll be right back. So here we have all the pieces of the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Let's take a closer look at each of them. This handle goes into the bottom of the DJI, so we'll leave that alone for a while. This goes around the phone. Let's look at the heart of the system. We've got this component here. There's a rotating piece here. There's a toggle switch that goes left, right, up, down, kind of control. And then there's an M control here for mode, a record or take a picture button here. And this button helps you flip the camera from portrait to landscape. First, we take the, the heart of the device. We look up here and it says, there's a lock and an unlock position. It needs to be in the unlocked position when you're actually using it. So right now it's in the locked position. See here, we've got the lock matched up. So what we can do is we can unlock this, turn it, and, and release this top. At that point, the device comes on. Power, it's powered up. And while it's here, we need to be clear that this needs to be in the unlocked position for it to move around and do what it needs to do. If it's in the locked position, it can't do anything. So let's take it into the unlocked position. Next, we need to mount this onto a phone in a balanced format, making sure that this arrow here is pointing up towards where the lens is. So let me get the camera and I'll be right back. I've got the camera here. It's an iPhone 15 Pro with its case on. So the lenses are up here. So we take a look at this and say, this arrow needs to be pointing towards the lens. Let's put it right here. And it needs to be somewhat centered on the phone for balancing. Pull it across and clamp it here. And it's high enough up that it's not actually touching the buttons here. 
Now it's fully in place and it's not touching that button. So let's center it just a little. The phone should be centered. Now to see whether it works, we need to attach this phone, this magnetic clamp, to this part here. Looking closely at this, there's a little cutout here and a little dot where we can plug in the phone. The phone itself has a little cutout here and it also has a dot right here. So this dot here aligned to that silver spot there. Let's put it in. And there it's clicked in place. Download and install the DJI MIMO app and then register. That's a prerequisite before we can use the DJI Osmo as intended. So now to pair this, we'll go ahead and select the Bluetooth and we'll pick up this OM6 right here and pair. OM6 is connected. So now if we go to the DJI MIMO app, The message here asks about device activation. Allow DJI access to device information to activate the device. So we'll go ahead and authorize that. And allow while using, access the camera, access your library, allow, and it's up and ready to go. So here's a beginner guide. Let's view that. And then there are a number of classes to go through. Now that we have all the pieces unpacked and assembled, and we've downloaded the DJI MIMO app and registered and installed it, let's take it outside and see how this might work. We're outside now to demonstrate how to use the DJI Osmo. Apologies for the background noises but this is the best location to demonstrate some of the features. So once you've got this installed and it's opened and ready to go, you need to turn on the DJI MIMO app. You've downloaded it earlier and registered it. So here we go, click on that. And the DJI MIMO comes online and connects. Let's look at some of the buttons on here. There's a button here that's a rotating button. And we can see that this allows us to zoom in and zoom out. But there's another feature where you can click on it and you can change the focal length, manually drive the focal length. So we can see here that the mug goes out of focus right here. And there we are, the mug comes into focus and the background's out of focus and now the background's in focus. So in one mode, it's a manual focus. In another mode, it's a zoom. So that's the first button. The second is a joystick that you see right here. This joystick right here helps to control the angle the camera is looking at. So let's move it a little further away so you can see the joystick in action. We can go down or pointing up and pointing down. We can go left and we can go right. Now the joystick provides a pretty smooth movement left to right or up and down. And the angle you push the joystick determines the speed. A slight movement of the joystick results in a slow pan. And since you have two-dimensional control, it's very easy to get the camera misaligned. That's the second, the joystick. The next item on here is this button here. That's the flip camera. This flips from the front to the back camera. One click and it switches over from one direction to the other. And the second click returns it to back where it was. So let's go ahead and click that once. And then again. So that's that button. The button with the red dot is one that takes a picture or activates a video. So right now we're in a video mode. So if we click it once, the video will start running. And we should be able to see the uh, button here change. And a counter will click on the top. So let's click that. And we see a recording has begun. And up at the top, the numbers have started progressing. And turn it off. If you're looking at a photo, one click takes the photo. Let's go back to video. And that's what that button does. So then we have a mode button up here. The mode button initially is set to show 
two circles intertwined, one vertical and one horizontal. What that means is that it allows you movement in two dimensions, up and down, cameras panning up, phones panning down, and it's turning left, and it's turning right. This is one way to pan, and the DJI does help smooth it out. Uh, however, another way to pan would be to set the DJI down and use the toggle to go left and right and up and down. So that's what the first mode is. If we push the mode button again, we get what looks like a flying saucer. What that means is that the vertical tilt is locked. So if I tip it up, the picture stays level. It doesn't move up. However, if I go left to right, it will allow me to move pretty evenly. So if I'm walking and I want to pan, but I want to keep it level, the second setting with the flying saucer is really helpful. Let's look at the third mode. The third mode allows movement in all directions. This is an FPV type of movement. You can see the phone rotates with me. It's not one that I often use, but it's good to know that you have it. The next click takes us to the rotation mode, and the rotation mode, or the circular mode, creates some scenic effects. If I push the joystick, the camera rotates, creating a circular view. And so those are the four modes, and now we're back to the original mode. Now there's one other setting, it's back here, it's the trigger. This trigger here is helpful to follow an object or a person. Now you can set this up and then get a person in camera, in focus, and when you see that little yellow square there, if you pull that trigger, it'll latch onto that object and hold it in place. Now one application of this is where you might take, say for example, a mug, and click on it, lock in the mug and walk around it in a circle and, and, the, and the phone will turn to keep the mug center through the whole movement. Now let's try one more thing. We can pick this camera up and pull the joystick up. And now when I push the joystick down, downwards, and double click to make it horizontal, we can create a view where the camera is down low onto the mug and start the recording. Approach it and climb up. And that should cover most of the basic features. We'll have a few more short videos covering each of these features in more detail. Thanks for watching.